Welcome to Papa Junk Shop. Um, I found some uh, dead centers that were in pretty rough shape um, about well, six or eight months ago. <clears throat> I needed a tool post grinder for my mini lathe, so I built this one. Uh, I can tell you about that when we get done done with this, but I thought I'd show you how I was going to renew one of these dead centers. I got the uh, <coughs> tool post grinder mounted and set for the 60 degrees and dressed the wheel and just got to turn on the uh, lathe. Turn on the tool post grinder. Bring her in so she just touches. Give her a real light pass. to see where we stand. Keep doing that until we get her down to a nice sharp point. Okay, it took me about 10 minutes to get it down to a, well, it's not really a needle point, but plenty pointy enough for uh, dead center. And uh, looks like a pretty decent finish. So I got one more to do, and then I'll uh, pull it tool post grinder off the lathe and I'll tell you how I went about making that. Okay, I got both the centers ground. This was the first one. And this is the second one. 
Well, this one didn't make any sparks when I ground it, so I don't know if it's stainless or, or what it might be, but it didn't make any sparks like this one did. But I think they're going to be functional again. So now I'll show you the tool post grinder. This is one that I built uh, <coughs> from a casting. I made a wooden pattern, poured this aluminum casting. Uh, bored it, put two ball bearings in there. Um, don't remember what size they were. Whatever size the shaft is. I think it might be quarter inch. Whatever I had in my drawer. Anyways, <clears throat> and uh, made two pulleys, one to fit the motor, one to fit this shaft with three speeds. Uh, this is a sewing machine motor. And two pieces of angle iron, one with slots here to move it back and forth so you can adjust the belt. And one here. Um, just mounted on the original bracket. And I cut a section off one of those little plastic pill boxes to put the switch in. It's the only thing I could find that was small enough. Now this wheel, I uh, can pull that wheel off, uh, let's see, yeah, And I also have a larger guard, which will go on there, and this one mounts on the outside. And uh, I think that's a three inch wheel. And I also, I guess we don't need those washers on there. And then I got a chuck that I can screw on here. I'm not going to tighten it down. But now I can uh, do some internal grinding with just uh, the same grindstone you use on a uh, Dremel. It's not real powerful because of the sewing machine motor. You just got to be patient. But it does work pretty well. Um, you can see the results I got here, pretty decent. I uh, think I give five bucks for the sawing machine to get the motor off of, and that was an old chuck off a drill. The rest of it was just stuff I had laying around. Now, yeah, sorry about that last thing getting cut off, but when this camera says the battery's getting low, <laughs> you don't have very long, it's done. So, I had to go change the battery out. But, uh, seems to work pretty well. There's the tag for the, uh, I guess it was a domestic sewing machine. But, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you like. I'm thinking that uh, Aaron and I are going to be building a steam engine in my next video if we uh, can get it done in a reasonable amount of time. going to let him do a lot of the machining. He's got a little bit of interest in it. I'd like to get him interested. So, keep watching.